Tonight we begin with the developing situation in Salt Lake City after an officer involved shooting. I'm Glenn Mills and I'm Emily Flores. Thank you for joining us here for the ABC 4 News at 10 o'clock. Well, this scene near 900 South and Main Street, a deadly police shooting tonight. Officers tell us the man shot was in violation of his parole. Mere moments after the fatal shot, protesters arrived on the scene. ABC 4's Brittany Johnson joining us live from the scene there and telling us what the latest information is tonight. Brittany. Well, Emily and Glenn, emotions running high tonight. Now, U.S. Marshals have not publicly identified the man who was shot and killed, but people have been gathering out here all night, potential loved ones trying to figure out if it was their family member who was shot and killed tonight. They're standing right across from me, but out of respect, we're not going to show them, but I will show you over here the crime scene. You see police officers still out here. They're going to be out here for the next couple hours, continuing their investigation. Now, here's what we know so far. According to U.S. Marshals, its violent fugitive apprehension task force was looking for a parole fugitive. The man was spotted in this area. U.S. Marshals say officers confronted him, but the man ran away and ignored the commands of officers. When officers brought out a canine unit, they say the man brought out a firearm. That's when he was fatally shot by officers. Again, he has not been identified, but officers say he was a white male. Activists rushing to the crime scene tonight, searching for answers. I got down here, found out what happened, and it's disgusting. Another senseless murder, another senseless shooting. I don't care if he was black, white, purple, or otherwise. He was a human being. No dog should ever be used as a weapon. That's disgusting. That is disgusting. What's wrong with you people? So many, where's the de-escalation training? Where is all that training they talk about? Uh, there is no other fugitive outstanding at this point and no officers were injured and no uh, other uh, civilians were injured. At one point, militia groups came through the area in ballistic vests and helmets, trying to argue with protesters before speeding away. Now, U.S. Marshals, West Valley PD and Salt Lake City PD all on scene tonight. West Valley City PD was here assisting Marshals in tracking the fugitive. Salt Lake City PD was not involved in the shooting. They were only here to help with the aftermath. Law enforcement still sorting out which agency the canine belongs to and which agency the officer belongs to who fired those shots. Unified PD is taking lead in this investigation. For now, reporting live tonight in Salt Lake City, I'm Brittany Johnson, ABC 4 News. Brittany, thank you. Wisconsin